hello um i have just decided to make a video it's really weird but i seem to always make videos when i'm like i don't know in the the rough version of myself i my hair's greasy and i need to wash it but you know what i don't give a fuck right now because part of my healing journey is you know really healing my emotional wounds and I've just sat here for the last probably half an hour having a huge cry like you can see my eyes are red not just a cry but like right from the pits of my soul and you know it's interesting because I'm on this healing journey at the moment and this week the theme is trauma um, and trauma, what happens, we all experience trauma at some part of our lives, you know, and, um, you know, a stress response is actually trauma, and in this day and age, there's so many people stressed, and I know that that's where I've been, in a very, very, very stressful space, <clears throat> put so much pressure on myself but anyway what happens with trauma is if we don't heal it through feeling our emotions feeling and releasing our emotions in healthy ways and there are a lot of somatic processes in order to help us through this um, but in this particular somatic process that I did um, I just cried. I have opened my heart space up. I opened my arms up wide to allow my heart chakra to be open so I can fully, fully, fully release. And you know what? So much stuff from my past has come up. You know, just so much. And, and you know, really coming to a lack of self-love and really self-acceptance. Um, for times that I might may have chosen um, choices that really weren't a soul aligned and I never dealt with those emotions I just swept them under the carpet by being busy doing drugs doing drinking social media sex like you know you think about all the avoidance tactics that we use food there's so many like the, the list is endless and I know that when we're in avoidance we're actually in dismissal of our emotions our feelings and and that gets trapped in our body and when that gets trapped in our bodies um, that trauma response gets trapped in our bodies that stress response then that manifests into illness manifests into disease manifests into our bodies shutting down and um, burning out and that's exactly where I'm at you know my body has literally like said enough is enough and so how I have truly gifted myself this space to heal these parts of myself so I can be grounded within my own truth to help others in theirs fundamentally that is my purpose in this world and so you know I've just sat here in so much grief but but through it I was like uncontrollably crying and then I was uncontrollably laughing one minute. You know, back in the day, I would have been zapped for that. You know, I'd been taken to a mental hospital and electrocuted, you know, electric shocked out of that. But really that, obviously, was never a helpful tool, was it? So it is through feeling, and I mean really feeling, and, and, and allowing ourselves not to run from those, because it can be frightening. You know, it can be a frightening frightening space to allow ourselves to feel you know we can get short of breath and that's where we need to bring ourselves back but still allow ourselves to feel whatever it is that needs to come up and this might be years and years of trauma and it is through really releasing these emotions that you know we we get to repair our bodies and um you know um, alleviate some inflammation within our bodies because trauma and unhealed emotions 
stress-related responses actually create inflammation in our bodies and that um, creates a disease, creates uh, a body that's not at ease, right? And so if we're not allowing ourselves to feel whatever it is that we need to feel and we're simply bypassing by keeping busy or bypassing by um, distraction, then we are essentially stopping such a gift and you know for me like with this process I'm like so in this gift so in this gift I've already had a bath today and I've already done some trauma releasing you know my theme this week is that through this healing journey that I'm on um, and it's certainly interesting that you know when you're when you're stepping into a healing journey of any sorts or a healing program you know um, whatever particular topic is of the week usually will well, it will manifest, it will surface for you to heal. So I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for this experience. And, um, you know, this is about making peace with our shadows and actually doing the shadow work, not just kind of like bypassing. And we can use so much to bypass. We can use meditation to bypass our feelings. We can use spirituality to, you know, like really step into that love and light kind of thing to bypass our feelings bypass our trauma and that is actually just a coping mechanism to um, to not look deeper into ourselves so you know if you're listening to this then I just wanted to invite you to allow yourself the gift of healing allow yourself the gift of transmuting your emotions and allowing your trauma body to become present to really embark on those shadows and, and know that it is through that that we step into embodiment, we step into really listening to our soul at such a deeper, more peaceful degree. And that, my friends, is self-love. That is self-love, okay? Self-love is not just jumping in a bubble bath with nice oils and just having a nice relaxation time. That is one element of it. But the deeper parts of self-love is really making friends with our shadows, and connecting in with the darkness so that we can be of the light. But if we're simply bypassing our darkness and just aiming for the light, then we're going to miss the rainbow. We will miss the rainbow. So, you know, whether whatever is coming up for you, anxiety, whether you're feeling depression, whatever it is, you know, there is a root cause to this, okay? You know, it's um, not just simply as simple as taking a pill and hoping for the best. And, you know, yes, that might bypass again and alleviate the symptoms, but it's just putting a mask on. So we need to take that band-aid off, rip it off, and allow ourselves to be raw and feel with every part of us. <sighs> on that note, I am sending you so much love on your journey. I decided to make this video because it's just, you know, the process that I've just been in, it's real, it's raw, it's fresh, and it's kind of like, now I've had this emotional release, now I'm like, what does my body need now to, you know, bring myself back to balance, and so I'm just about to have a cup of tea, a cup of herbal tea, just to sit with this, and enjoy the peace that surrender brings, enjoying the peace, that releasement brings. Again, sending you so much love on your journey. Hayley Marie Nolan.